Cheers! Cheers. Welcome, Welcome to, to Movie, Movie Bitches. Bitches, RuPaul's Drag Race, Season 14, Episode 7. We are almost halfway through. <laughs> that sounds crazy. That is no, crazy. that is crazy. That is crazy. Doesn't anyone notice this? I feel like I'm taking crazy pills! If it had been a regular, regular season, the old seasons of yore, <clears throat> this would have been halfway. Right. But because now it's six. I guess next week's will be halfway. Oh boy. Okay. Yikes. Yes. Well, you know, but I will say, yeah. on a whole, I think this season's great. I think this season's going really fun. I think they're making a lot of smart production choices. Okay. By comparison to past seasons. Fair, fair, fair. There's a upward trajectory. Yes. I wouldn't be, I'm not like, oh man, they're firing on all cylinders, but I'm like, okay. Yeah. Yeah. They might be listening. Right. They've learned some things or remembered some things. Yeah. 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 Oh, anyway. but first things first. Yes. Shout out to our Patreon supporters. $5 a month gets you early access. $10 gets you access to our viewing parties. Thank you all for your support. Really means a lot. And uh, it sounds like you're enjoying it. But if you want other things, I keep saying it. No one keeps commenting. So tell us if there's other perks that you would be, you know, interested in that would draw you into the Patreon community. I would say... Really, at this point, the only reason to watch the viewing parties is to watch my reaction to Willow Pill's runways. <laughs> Good. It's mostly. There's little bits in here. You it's know, fun. There's you never know when the Sarah McLaughlin of it all. I'm, or I'm being silly. Yeah. It's great. You should watch them. But that's I mean you're guaranteed. Um, you know. Well, something. also though this week we had a big reaction to a big reveal on the runway. Oh we yes. Will get uh, yeah. Yeah. We'll, yeah. Yes. Oh. 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 Face first, this is every drag queen's nightmare. <laughs> second thing, second, shout out to our wine sponsor, Wink. Go to trywink.com slash moviebitches. You get four bottles of wine for $29.95. I think I'm just going to keep saying $22 off. It's like $22.05 off. So it's like technically a better deal, but what are we doing? It just rolls off the tongue a lot easier if you say, you know. Twenty-two dollars off your First next box of wine. wine. Yeah. yeah. Or you can click the clink. You can clink the link, <laughs> and that'll do it too. Third things third. Make sure to subscribe, share, whole, oh, follow us on Instagram and Twitter. It worked last week. We said follow us on Twitter, and then we got a lot of Twitter followers. Hey. So thank you. Follow us on Instagram. Yes. Subscribe to us on YouTube. We're almost to 15,000 on, on Instagram. So that's, you know, these little goals. We're going to get there. We posted some fun videos that everyone wanted the Richard, Richard Attenborough clip from yes. last week, which was very fun. So I obliged. Richard or David? David. <laughs> um, David. Who's Richard? Richard Attenborough, I believe, is Dave, David Attenborough's brother, yes. who is the um, grandfather in Jurassic Park. Correct. <laughs> Travels all around the world and seen some exotic people, and I find Michelle rather ravishing. Oh. So, so I've written five spice. Uh, yes. Anyway. Anyway. Drag race. <laughs> right. This week, uh, someone went home last week. Maddie. Right. I'm sad because I am sad. Um, I will say Maddie posted her chaps runway on oh Instagram God. and. It was good. It was really good. It was some Yosemite Sam nonsense. And yes. I was like, yes, though, so yes. I want to see. But like, it was like I Yosemite to... Dolly. You know, yeah, it, yeah, was like, yes, it was like yes. very that. I was into it. Yeah. Uh, I liked it a lot. So. Yeah. I'm a little bummed because Maddie was just so fun and campy. Mm -hmm. Everyone comes back in and Bitter, Bitter, Bitter Betty is um, only getting How more, is she? more sour uh, oh by the God. day. Yeah. Sorry to the girls that glued stuff onto body suit, but it's like, I feel like I did a lot compared to some other people. Well, I should have been in the top right. and Georges didn't deserve to win. Um, no, 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 no. I made a garment from scratch and they made like whatever. I was you like, glued some fabric yeah. onto a corset or whatever. And it's like, well, I mean, yes, that is true, but they did a more successful job than you did. Right. Uh, it's not a um, RuPaul's sewing challenge. Nor is it right. RuPaul's like most work challenge. It's like you have to, like it's just being judged on how it looks. Right. And how you wear it. And how you sell and it. And what the concept was and how it all fits together. You know, yeah. yeah. So that is an interesting, it's like, 
okay, yes, you did do a lot of work, but maybe you shouldn't have an edited it instead. It was just fabric. I created a garment from literally nothing. Well, flying off the handle, she did apologize later. I mean, I'm kind of enjoying, the sick part of me is enjoying her spiraling out a little bit. Um, yeah, we'll see where it goes, you know? How far they take it, but yeah. I'm sort of like, this is the most real I've seen a contestant be in a while. Right. And it's refreshing. It is refreshing to just feel like it's unfiltered. You know, yes. you're like, oh, you're just acting out of your own. She's you know. feeling her feelings. Yep. And I, I can appreciate that. Yeah. It's not the cutest look, but I can appreciate it. Yes. And for television, I'm like, hmm. Yeah. Hmm. Tell me more. Oh, right. But I forgot too. They walk back in from the lip sync and Jasmine goes, well, that was easy. Yeah, it Bitch. was um Jasmine's also feeling herself yeah. in a different direction than Betty is. Yeah. <laughs> oh, right, because then when Betty apologized to Georges the next day, she's like, as a friend, congratulations. Congratulations. I was like, right. whoa. I was like, okay, so as a contestant, no, not. Yeah. Like, as a friend, I'm glad you, it was weird. Oh, and the notorious size queen, T.S. Eliot, is our... Yes. T.S. Madison is our guest, and I was excited about that. Anyway. Rue walks in. Yes, she does. And I was like, I'm pretty sure I had a slap bracelet in this, like, neon very, leopard. Like, it was very that. Yes. <laughs> it's very that. I think those bracelets got banned at our school. Because everyone would slap them on each yeah. other. That was, like, the original... I'm gonna sound so old. That was like the original fidget spinner. Sure. Because oh, I just... would do that all the time. That mm -hmm. and then when we were nope. old enough to have cars, anyone who had a VW key where you could push oh. the thing and flip it out, I did. and it was like, ooh, I could do that all day. <laughs> just <laughs> that was definitely my fidget spinner. Oh yes. Anyway. anyway. Yes, the Maxi Challenge is a soap opera parody called The Daytona Wind. Oh my god. And as soon as they said this, I was like, what does that have to do with anything, bitch? I was like, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna keep that up there, because yeah. I don't think I, what? And yeah. then later. And then later it made sense. It made yeah. sense. <laughs> And because George just won last week, she gets to pick all the parts. It's all very fair. Yes. And I mean, I think that's good. Yes, it causes drama sometimes to have, you know, to be shady, but it makes the challenge worse. Absolutely. And you don't want to have it be a bad challenge. And I think someone, I forget who it was, but someone put it out perfectly where it was like, she still gets to pick her role. Yes. So that's really what's most important. Yeah. Make sure that you set yourself up for success and hopefully you set up the whole team to do well, but you do better. And she did. You get first pickings. Yeah. I really liked this. They showed everyone creatively, yeah. brainstorming, sitting around the workroom, coming yeah. up with ideas, kikiing. Yes. Being fun drag queens. I was like, wait, what's this? Yeah. We haven't seen this in seasons. I love it. There's been seasons upon seasons and we haven't seen this. I, I loved it. And yeah. I'm getting to know them. Exactly. I'm getting to know the creative process that they work in and how they work together. This is what I want to see. I liked seeing the process, brainstorming, yes. all of that stuff. And I think what was so fun about this too is that you got to see the ways that different people were approaching it and were like there was clearly yeah. different levels of like understanding of what what to be the doing. The material was yes, yes, yes. Where Bosco's like, I got it. Yeah, Joan Collins' character, as told by Fancy, as sung by Reba, nailing cool. it. So it's this the Reba got it. Fancy, ooh, I had to, I got to go rewatch that music video. You've seen it, right? I don't think so. <gasps> It's like a mini movie. You know, I might have been born just plain white trash, but fancy words are my name. Oh, it's so good. But also, do you know what this made me want to do? What? Watch Lace. Oh, you haven't watched it still. Incidentally. Which one of you bitches is my mother? Which one of you bitches? It's so good. Yeah. Listen. I mean, it's also like dated. Sure. Like, one of them's in love with, like, a chic. Oh. There was, like, that time mm. in the 80s when oil was king. And, you know, it was like, oh, a mysterious Middle Eastern prince will sweep me away. Like, there was, like, that was, like, a, a sure. stereotype or whatever. Sure. And so there's, like, a lot of that going on where you're like, oh, I don't know if this holds up. <laughs> okay, great. Well, we'll see. But in a fun way. In a fun, yes. what's this? Nonsense yeah. kind of way. I think the main takeaway from oh this episode... God. You know what I'm going to say? Michelle Visage needs to stop directing and Rue needs to do it instead. Or someone who's qualified. Yes. Very that. Rue was so great yes. at directing, so great at um, disarming them, at making them 
keep it light, have fun with the whole thing. Very that, but also I think Rue really gave great direction of like, oh yeah, here's what you need to know. Let me let me mimic, let me show you something of what I'm talking about, mm -hmm. and give you ways that you can kind of go off of that and either mimic, but also like make it your own. Yeah. Jumping ahead to next week. But like, I think when you see something like Michelle being like, no, say it this way, mm. 10 times in a row and it's not working, Rue doesn't usually seem to have that no, issue. No, she's like, changes the, the script and goes, okay, yeah. how about we reframe it and you can do this. Yeah, I, like, uh, yeah. I would wonder if Rue had been there for, I was rooting for us. If she would have got it. If she would have got it. Yeah, what was it? I'm waiting for, to me, eat him. Yeah. <laughs> the day I first met him. There's no man. I think Rue is much better suited. It was night and day. Yes, and it just ended up in a, such a better end result. Yeah. That I'm like, you guys, just bring in a fucking director. Mm -hmm. I have to imagine that they could find someone to someone. do it. Someone. That wouldn't cost that much, you know? Yeah, I vote yes to Where's that. Where's Amy Poehler? Rachel Dratch. Sure. I don't fucking know. Rachel Dratch would definitely be less expensive. Yes. And I would love it. I would. Remember when Cecily Strong came on? Oh, yes. Like, this, come on. Anyway, yes. Rue was great. This was fabulous. Yes. The whole rehearsal was flowing and fun and I mean the only thing I remember really is well Pell's well parse. Oh my god. <laughs> a well, well parse. <laughs> she was her own little Polly Pocket. Yeah. It was a little. It really made me laugh. But yeah everyone was well not everyone but mostly everyone was doing a great job. Yes. And no one was oh. No it was not like wow that really. Well Jasmine was like it came it was it, it was a real it was a full oh circle god. um so bad that it came back around to being good again? Yes. Situation? Yes. Maxine, I'm about to bust. Do you have a son who's about to get married in this very room? What's going on, but it is entertaining to watch. I was like, I, I feel like you're not speaking English. I feel like you learn these lines phonetically. <laughs> and what? This is O'Hara's property. <laughs> you couldn't try no. to... It was different places. You couldn't try to emphasis the uh, the syllable. I mean, it was like... And the accent work and the... it was. Well, everyone's southern accents were... I mean, other than injury, were questionable. De yeah. uh, Deja's was in and out. Have been planning this when there will be a wedding today. It's funny. I mean, obviously, I have a lot of trouble with accents. Sure. And oh, they fine. do it's... end up usually being Cockney, but... Or, or really just Bert from Mary Poppins. <laughs> well, I knew that shit you went anywhere. I don't know what that was. That was like Elmer <laughs> Fudd. It, you know what? But... <laughs> at least it was strong and wrong. Yeah, that's, that's why I was, It goes strong and wrong. It, and to kind of be consistent <laughs> is, is the, the also big key. <laughs> pick a place, pick a lane and stay in it. Well, so then everyone's getting ready. This was also such a refreshing Fun yes. tragedy where it wasn't a tragedy. Uh, but Bosco, so does anyone have any roots in the leather community? Just right. like just gonna <laughs> slide that one right in there. You ever been to Folsom, Miss Camden? Oh yes, honey. Yeah, tell me about that. The Folsom okay. Street. At the fair? At the I wanna go to the fair! Having full on sex. At the fair. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Bitch, I wanna go to the fair! Oh my god, I love her. It was just such a fun conversation that they were having. Yes. And I love what Bosco was saying about like pride, you know, has become very corporatized. Infamous Kink Festival. Folsom is not the corporate sponsored pride parade that you may see on TV. And G rated. Yes. And you know, there's room for there's room for both. And let's let's not forget, you know, one or the other. But I don't necessarily think that every gay space needs to be family friendly. <laughs> there's some grit there and there needs to be space for that grit to stay there. There is like Gen Z especially is kind of been leading this like no kinks at pride. Like it is Really? To, and I understand where they're coming from where they're like basically the idea is that people are realizing that they are queer at a younger and younger age. And okay. so having a space where it feels okay for them to participate is important. But then, you know, have like a parade, you know, like pride. Right. But, but, that, but like still, that, I don't know. Maybe we have like a kid's pride. I don't know. There can be like... You don't need to kind of muddy this rainbow so that they can't shine as bright. Right. We don't need to G-rate everything. Yeah. I think they'll be okay if they see some guys prancing around in a Speedo, you know. It's not like... 
Like, that's what's interesting to me is that it's not, like, Folsom. Right. Is at Pride. It's not like LA Pride, everyone's just, like, fucking in the streets. <laughs> it's not happening. What's that thing where you, like, go in the woods and it's gay? <laughs> Hiking? <laughs> On walks in the woods, what is that called? It's, uh, walking. It's, like, a gay thing. Hiking? Cruising? Cruising. Cruising. Yeah. I also love that, like... What's that thing that I definitely know the name of? That um, um Yeah, what is it? Does it start with like a C? I'm not sure. <laughs> okay, girl. Uh, but no, I was so happy. This was so fun yes. and and engaging and you know, brought up because of the runway. It felt organic. Did that just did that just click for yeah. you? Okay, great. But because it was so organic, it yeah. didn't. It wasn't like now let's talk about this thing that had uh, apropos of nothing. Hey, right? I guess. Yeah. <laughs> obviously, obviously, you know, it was like, oh, this just you know, does anyone have any ties to the leather community? Because I'm obviously wearing this outfit Chefs. and whatever, yeah, and it was sure. all fabulous. So yeah. anyway, I really like this, and uh, that's the season feels more like the older seasons. I agree. And I'm like. And the cast is great. Like, Not on, that guys. the cast weren't great in other ones, but like there's a, a gelling being, and a vibing. It is being and a, produced in a way that yeah. is, you know, helping. Anyway, I'm crossing my fingers that they, they keep keep this trajectory. So, quick commercial break. We'll be back with the runway. Category is chaps on the runway. I think, yeah, just cha I think chaps I, on the runway. I think so. At first I thought Ruth said chapped on the runway. And I was like, ooh, into this. Ooh. Right? Someone just comes out like all sunburnt <laughs> and like whatever, like windburnt. Yeah. 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 Sorry, get this. Mm, lipstick some up Carmex, in there. you know, yeah. <laughs> Rue walks down the runway in this like iridescent orange. The shape was very it's classic like Rue. Ruffled sherbet. Yes. Effervescent. Yeah. A little dreamsicle. So, category is chaps on the runway. Now, that could have been fun, you know, oh hey old chap. Oh like sure, where um, my friend Lady Here, Camden that? had found I can't fault her runway at no. all. But uh, that just occurred to me. I mean, I think they all learned from Maddie's runway friend. Yeah, I liked it. I thought it was funny. I thought it was totally fun. Yeah. I, I did like that this was open enough that there was a wide variety yes. of chaps. Speaking of, first down the runway, I'm still not over this. No. I'm still in shock at how... <laughs> King fabulous this is. Will Pell comes down the runway in her atomic wedgie latex kink <laughs> club kid 90s matrix like um crumb from Ah Real Monsters. Mm. And it was it was ever I I'm not over this. No. It was too good. Well, it was so good especially because like I literally never would have thought of this. That's her she her. thinks her mind. There's not even a box to think outside of. Yeah. She, she's on her own planet. Letter. Planet trashy fashion. And I am so <laughs> fucking here. She does such a good job of writing that line of like, this is real slutty and trashy. Yeah. But it's fashion. And I'm, I, I, I literally can't say enough about this. Yes. The fact that she wasn't in the top. Uh, mind boggling. I'm, I, I, I. <laughs> yeah. I think it's because of fucking Michelle. Yeah. I don't know what she has against Will Pell. <sighs> It's weird. It is weird. The thing that bothered me a little bit about Willa's performance was that she was doing somebody else's material. Now, I didn't mind that she was doing Moira Rose. But yes, her extra set of hands that are giving her an atomic wedgie and holding up her little pigtails with the, but, the they, but it was still like a little dangerous. You know what yeah. I mean? Like it was like simultaneously she looked like she was from Spy Kids. Right. But also, you know, like. But also like Fifth Element? Yes, yes, very that. It was, it was. Oh. It was so good. Yeah. I can't get over this. Yeah. We have to move on, but I really would like to talk about it probably <laughs> until next year. It was that good. But next, Bosco in this pink, was it leather? I think so. Maybe, yeah. Dusty pink. Dusty pink, very Joanne pink, but it, this was giving me kind of like Dua Lipa vibes. I think there was a look that she wore that was You like mean this. Dula Peep? Dula Peep. <laughs> it took me a second, because you always, I always say, say Dula, Dula Peep, Peep, and I was I like, do. Dua Lipa, right, yes. Yes. <laughs> This had, you know, Cher, 70s, yes. hey, Janice from the Muppets. Yes. Like, the vibe of, like, everything's great. I just took, like, a microdose of LSD, no big thing. You know, it was just, like, very, I'm groovy. Yeah. And Maybe a little Coachella-y. Like, a little bit. But, like, but fashion. Edgier. Yeah, edgier. I didn't know what this was. Was this a devil tail or a little mushroom on her leg? This, that, like, shape? Oh, yeah. Like, is that, like, a little mushroom or a 
was probably a devil tail. I had a bit of like a uh, Christina early 2000s. Get out of my head. That's chaps exactly what I was vibe, say. but like. But like Christina Aguilera doing share. Elevated. Yes. Right? Yes. Like, Bob Mackie does Christina Aguilera doing does share. share. Those with like ben a diagram. little bit of Gaga in there. Yeah. And then in her face, she was kind of giving me Sandra Bullock vibes. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I don't this know, maybe was when great. we put it side by side. It was great. I really like Bosco. I think they need to start putting Willow at the end. Mm. Simply because they keep putting her at the beginning. The beginning. And I'm just like, <gasps> my head just exploded. Right. And then I'm like, everything else is very, very good. Yeah. <laughs> There's like no latex atomic wedgie with extra hands. Right. But this was so good. Oh boy. So then next down the runway, Deja Sky. I don't think we have the same aesthetic. No. This blue leopard. I said this wig goes in the disaster pile. Oh, this wig definitely goes in the disaster pile. This bright orange. Um, her body looked great. Yeah. The proportions, the shape. She had been draping herself in a lot of fabric. In the first right. few weeks, yeah, there was it was heavy. There sure. was too much, and this was very bodycon. Looked good. I didn't like that fabric or the look or the wig. Yeah, unfortunately, you know. So then next was Carrie Colby in this. I mean, cousin it chaps balding cousin it. Yeah, it looked like bit. you know cousin it had nared himself and had an accident. Oh, no. Her body looked great. I yes. loved this wig. Yes. Braids oh my God. to the floor. Yes. She's twirling them. I loved yeah. it. I don't know why she was wearing a visor hat. I don't know why anyone is wearing a visor hat. We've had like multiple weeks in a row where I'm like, this is bad. It's not a good look. It's not good. Unless you have a fucking huge ass beehive coming out of your visor hat. Is that what those are called? Those like circle hats with the hole. Oh, sure. Well, a visor hat to me is like Just the cap. front. Okay, yeah. so like what's the thing where it's a sun hat but there's no top? I do not know. Whatever that is, it right. needs to stop. It's bad. It's like a non-hat. I think it's, it's like so not that they quite can a have hat. their wig go through it or whatever. Mm-mm. But I'm like, but no. unless you're gonna like literally have your wig fucking go through yeah. it. Yeah. But also, I would have preferred that she had like a visor cap. Just very, yeah. Like, Dion. See through. Yes. I'm dealing blackjack, but fashion. Sure. You know, something like something. This I just the hat was bad and the outfit was confusing. It was confusing, but that wig was the wig excellent. was a really fun idea. So that's why I feel like with Carrie, I'm like, well, that was a that was a fun idea, but then you crapped it up with a bunch of crap. Yeah, it was almost there. Almost she there. Looked beautiful. She always looks beautiful. Yeah. Next on the runway, George's. I feel like a broken record. Why can't she get her pants on right? <laughs> Why do I have to keep bringing it up? She looked great. I mean, I guess that was her intent. I'm well, not yeah. sure. Well, yeah. She's like, it's this burlesque, lacy, yeah. chandelier looking bra with this beautiful hair and lace thigh highs. They weren't chaps. No. I mean, <laughs> it, it looked like, and she said. It looks like I didn't pull up my pants all the way, girl. Yeah, it does. But that's not the intent. I think it was, but like, but why? what does that mean? Right. And and what does that mean with this fabulous burlesque? I'm hot. Look. Yeah. Again, right. I was just like, why can't? What is happening where you can't get the panty line right? What's going on? From here up, it was like everything. Yes. But it wasn't quite chaps. No. And it was strange. Yes, I agree. So then next is Angie, and this reminded me of like the end of Mamma Mia. When like Meryl yes. Streep is dancing and they're doing their but like better. album number. Disco. Yeah. Studio 54, like share hair. Yeah. The nude illusion part was not quite the right, it was the wrong color. Yeah. It's a little distracting. Yeah. Just just let those tatas breathe. We don't need a nude illusion. It's fine. It's fine. Tits is fine. Isn't it, Father? Oh, yes. Tits. Tits is fine. Fine. Tits is fine. It's fine. It's fine. Go tits. Next on the runway, Jasmine. Yeah. In what the fuck was this? I do not know. This was so strange. This graduation cap. Now, if it had been closed and then maybe to reveal the slutty underneath. Yeah. But I just was like sitting there going, I don't understand what this means. It was like a drag version of legally blonde meets she's all that. With the soccer ball, but like instead it was like, oh, I'm slutty. You know, like, I don't know. I didn't like, it was like a... The colors were hideous. hideous. I know they were her school colors, but they were hideous. Fishnet bodysuit with then... I don't know. <laughs> I, did. I didn't like this. No. Maybe if she'd had some tassels on her tatas. Ooh, yeah. I don't, give me you know, a real Elvira show. Yeah, if she was giving me a show. I could not parse the thought behind it. I was just so confused. And I didn't like the look of it. No. And the colors, the colors were, were bad. just awful. 
it was, I don't, it was just, it was odd. This is what you chose for chaps. Like, I, the, from here to there, like, I, I, yeah. I don't know. Yeah. I don't know how you got there, but, you know, it was polished. It didn't look bad. No. I was just like, what? Yeah. What? Oh, boys. Then Lady Camden de Bourgh with, I think this goes up there with, like, Brooklyn Heights' wig reveal change. Oh, yeah. Where she comes down. She's, you know, it's kind of like amorphous. I was like, ah, this doesn't well, look great. Well, the wig was like, it's this Andy Warhol. He has like this blonde, kind of crazy. White. I was like, what's, what's going, going on with this? And then she just, boom, falls flat on her face. And it's like, oh, shit. I mean, the sound effects. Oh, 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 oh. Uh-oh. Oh. You okay? Oh, shoot. Oh, God. Like, I thought something serious had happened. I was worried. Yes. I was like, oh, no, another <gasps> injury? We can't keep doing this. <laughs> but she sold, I mean, she's a dancer. Yep. She sold the shit out of this, fell flat on her face, but to reveal, I had to chat this mustache and Freddie Mercury, fabulous lightning bolt chaps, you know, jumpsuit. I think the reveal was, was everything, and I really, really like this look. Could have been a little sluttier. Like, yeah, could sure. have been a little more dangerous yeah. for Freddie. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. It was mm -hmm. a little nice sure. for Freddie. But yes. I love. I really loved it. This was so fun and fabulous. And yes. she sold the shit out of it. Yes. And just... Well, and we will talk about the mustache reveal. The reveal reveal? Oh, my God. It's like, it's like tiny hats. Yeah. Just like, just yes. the more the better. I'm into it. <laughs> I'm into it. But no, this was a really fucking fabulous. Yeah. So then last down the runway, Diabetti in, unfortunately, a very similar look to Lady Camden. Oh. It's like white. I mean, I was like, oh, it's less good, though. Yeah. You know what I mean? Um, it was okay. It was like boardroom, Joan Collins, Kate Winslet from Titanic, Ooh, My Fair little... Lady chaps? I said it was like uh, First Wives Club, but slutty. Yeah. You, know, you don't own me. But again, could have been sluttier. Sure. She had like granny panties on. Yeah. And a thong. Something. It was fine. It wasn't bad. No. It was nice. Yeah. I didn't like the hat. With the black wig and the black hat, it all kind of blended together. Maybe the big white hat. The hat looked cheap. It wasn't my favorite, but it was well put together. But particularly, we'll talk about later during the lip sync, I was like, I don't, which, I mean, obviously, Lady Camden was everything, but I was like, but they're wearing the same thing. What's happening? <laughs> sure. I was a little bit like, that. Yes. There's two twins up on the yeah. stage. Ah. Yeah. So, quick much break, and we'll be back with Daytona Wind. <laughs> No. <laughs> <laughs> so let's talk about Daytona wins. The director's cut this. Oh my god! I mean, I will. I do really appreciate that they did not pick up on it and they kept it from the queens. That was fun, right? That was the only thing that was fun about it. I uh, think. Well, so Rue is like, "Well, I was in the editing room and I realized there was something. Something missing. was missing, and so here's the director's cut." And I loved all this. It started, it's in 4-3. Yes. They did a shitty VHS yes. transfer pan on it. It's all, like, right. Like, they yeah. put in the details of what they're trying to convey. And I was like, here yes. for this. Yes. And then it turns out it is one long fart joke. And the peonies. Over and over without really a rhyme or reason at a that, certain point. That was my thing. I thought they really overdid it. Yeah. There will be a wedding today, even if I have to marry you myself. <laughs> well, particularly, we can well, talk about it. Justice the for Rock'em. The Rock'em Sakura of it all. Oh my God. Are you kidding me? Right. A high kick to a farce. I can send a grown man back home to his mama. The absolute gall to be like, no, you shouldn't make a fart joke in your song once. That was really funny, by the way. That was funny. Exactly. It was well-timed. It was great. No, that's not okay. Inappropriate. You should go Fart home. Fart humor's not for everyone. Bathroom humor. It's comedy, people. Why does everything have to be so serious? I appreciate a good crass video. There's a lot of people like me out there. Fart humor, yeah? Yeah. Didn't Michelle, Michelle get up on her high off. horse? I'm just, oh, I'm so offended. And now she's sitting here cackling away at the fucking fart every 12 seconds. And mm -hmm. I was like, this is not right. I was mad. I was mad too. Mm -hmm. I was also mad because I was like, this isn't that funny. No, unfortunately, I think I would have liked to just see it without the farts. Perhaps. Perhaps. The only fun or thing was... Or with fewer. Was... Just scale it back here and there more purposeful yeah or why just... were which queens doing it like you know maybe it's not everyone's farting but like 
Certainly. Well, and what does that have to do with anything, anything bitch? bitch? You know, was it that like the Hatfields and McCoys of it all were giving each other diarrhea, gas? like gas? Like, I, I, there was no reason. No. And if this is the point of every episode of Daytona Win, it's not getting picked up for a second season. <laughs> I don't wow. think it's making it past the pilot, but... <laughs> I don't think that was ever happening. No, but, but you know what I mean? Like, I like to have... Sure. What's the world this is living yes, in? Yes, that, that is the, fair. That makes me go, oh, that would be a funny thing. Yeah, it makes it more successful when it, it, when yeah. it feels like it could be real. Yes, so I thought it was over overdone yeah. and seemingly for, at times, no reason other than it's been quiet for a while, let's put in a fart. Stand in the way of true love. Not again. <laughs> <laughs> on a whole, yeah, I thought Lady Camden was the best actress. Yes, and was hilarious and amazing. Yes, Maxine! <laughs> I thought well, Hell and Crystal were so funny. <laughs> I guess our invites got lost in the email. <laughs> so listen up, you hoity-toity Davenports. And I thought Bosco was everything. What? Willow Pill and who? Oh, what did I say? Did I say Crystal? <laughs> did I say Crystal? I thought, well, hell, and Crystal were so funny. Oh, no. <laughs> That's why she gets so mad about it. I'm not a distressed Crystal. <laughs> Oops. Uh, no, but the three of them, Daya and Willow and Bosco, were really funny. Bosco coming in and just holding this oh tiny my God. thing. I'm so sorry. I just realized that Daya is like the that vegan cheese brand. Yeah. That might make me you I'm remember it better. To... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> wow, I'm surp I can't believe I did that. <laughs> um, yeah, they were so fun and funny and really came in and clinched it at the end. Yes. And who would invite two prostitutes to a wedding? <laughs> uh, don't you mean three prostitutes? <laughs> but yo, Lady Camden was giving me some like um, Mary Elizabeth Master Antonio, you know, with that really curly hair. I liked it. I liked it too. I will say, Bosco, I didn't love her makeup. Well, it was on purpose. Maybe the idea could have been bigger, you know, Maybe. do some big Joan Collins eyes or something. But she purposely, you know, talked about doing the the tiny Reba lip and yes. the, the small hair and everything. Yeah, but because she had such a Ooh, and drums. Right. It was a little underwhelming, yeah. Well, and I think she was just so pale. Yeah. It was very clown white of it all. And I was like, oh, okay. It's jarring for me. It yeah. doesn't look natural. Mm -hmm. I mean, you know, natural. But they, I, I really thought they were going to play up. This had such potential to be so soap opera melodrama. Right. You know, right. do all of the... Yes. Dun, dun, dun. Dun, dun, dun. Yeah, yeah. Dun, dun, dun. You know, and yeah. everyone, who's it going to be? Like, right. the end, that it's like season two finale of Dynasty, the original, when Joan Collins comes into the courtroom and everyone, who could it be? <laughs> ah. Who could it be? It's like so insane. Oh, what? <laughs> And so great, and um, they could have done so many of those things. Right, and instead they just, just leaned like, into the fart jokes. Fart jokes, I was like, eh. Yeah. <laughs> Shucks, it was almost there. Yeah, I mean, it was really good though, in terms of acting challenges, I would yeah. say for this show overall. Yes. It's one of the better ones. Yeah. So Rue announces that, who was it, Jasmine, who's safe? No, Jasmine was in the top. What? It was like, Angeria, Deja, and... A third person, yeah. or maybe it was just Interior and Deja. But anyway, everyone else is tops this week, and the two tops are going to the two mortars are gonna <laughs> two pestles. Pestles. The two pestles are gonna gonna mortar the shit out of that lip sync. <laughs> and Lady Camden and Daya Betty. Yes. Lip syncing to One Way or Another by Blondie. I thought this was good. I thought this was good. The. Mu the the, the mustache, mustache reveal, reveal is on. Oh my god. Uh -huh, uh -huh. To reveal a oh, mustache. Here it. for it. Yeah. She obviously won. Yes. I don't know if this song 
is the best lip sync song because it's so repetitive. So repetitive. You know? Yeah. Um, that it it's just, got a lot of energy. I love yes. the song, but lip sync, it doesn't have that rise. Like, right. And, like, you know. we're really getting to a thing. It was just kind of like one way, one way, one way. Right, one, right, right. So, but no, I thought Lady Camden won. Yes. I would have put Willow up there instead of Daya. Yeah. Personally. Yeah. I am... I am still upset and offended that we didn't get to see Willow lip sync in this outfit. Oh my God. Can you imagine? One way, all right, all right, all right. And it's like, <laughs> she's like shaking her little yeah. ass. <laughs> Would have been everything. Would have been great. Oh, I'm mad. Yeah. Well, I thought Daya's hat was really covering a lot of yes. her face oh, it definitely and, was. and shadowing. And yeah. I, I really thought she was going to throw that thing off. I know. Her. I was and like, girl, you got to take the hat off. You can't see your face. did not. No. She did not do it. Mm -mm. And then, yes, at a certain point, I was like, they're both wearing white suit chaps. What's, oh my God, what's happening? And the song is repeating. And But Lady Kim wins. Yes. Rightfully so. Yay. Yay. I really like her yeah. a lot. Yeah. Well, so I watched Untucked. Oh, okay. Because I was told to. Okay. Not because of drama. Oh, okay. But because it was very sweet. I think I, through osmosis, have heard what happened. Well, I think they show it next week, parts of it, too. I'm like, okay. So. Also that. <laughs> I'm kidding half the story until next week when you show us that same half. Great. But yeah, they start off talking about, like, family, and then they start talking about COVID and how hard it's been. Mm. And, like, Jasmine's talking about how, like, it's been really hard for her to just, like, even at times put food on the table, oh which God. is really heartbreaking. And it's, like, it's a reminder. It's been so hard for these queens. And, and like, we haven't been watching Drag UK versus the world or whatever, but mm. I assume that there's a similar thing, especially with that where there's no prize. It's oh, hard yeah. to be putting all of this energy and money into oh my these gosh. outfits yeah. and not have any money as a performer because everything's been closed. But yes. So they talk about that, and then T.S. Madison comes back, and they have a whole conversation, uh, and then they talk about, you know, transitioning, and Bosco reveals that they would like to, potentially, they're, they're exploring the waters of how exactly they feel, and Jasmine reveals that she was going to start hormones right before the show. Right, And so yeah. it's like, well, that's a horrible idea, yeah, because yeah, yeah, yeah. the last thing you need in a pressure cooker and a, yeah. no, don't mess with that. So after the show... Oh, great. She, well, and Bosco and, has since, right, on Twitter... I believe, yes, announced that, that she is trans. trans. It was very touching and moving and, like, really cathartic, I think, for Jasmine. You could really see yeah. just releasing that pressure bottle of just, like, letting it out. Oh, good. It was very Emmy moment, emotional. I was starting the process of hormones and, like, about to start. I am trans. <laughs> Not to detract from it, like Emmy moment in a good way, I guess. Oh, Emmy moment. I didn't quite hear what you said. Sorry. <laughs> I was like, any moment? No, Emmy. What's this now? Yeah. Any? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. But that was pretty much it. Okay, great. But cheers to this week. Yes. And cheers to Will Pills, Will Parks. Will Pills. Oh, just us Will, Will. 